Back with you here on a Sunday at the Battery Atlanta. I'm Kevin McAlvin, truest reporter for the fan and the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. Hope you're having a great weekend. Of course, if you're a Braves fan, you're having a tremendous weekend as the club won another walk-off contest here last night. We'll tell you more about that a little bit later on. Of course, the Braves and Phillies wrapping up their three-game series here tonight. Braves give the ball to Josh Tomlin as they look for the series sweep against their rivals from Philadelphia. Atlanta entering play tonight 16-11 and on the season. They've got a two-game lead in the National League East standings. Meanwhile, for the Phillies, 9-14 and overall. They are five games out of first place. They'll give the ball to fellow right-hander Zach Eflin here tonight a little after 7 o'clock Eastern. For the Braves, it was a 6-5 to walk-off win last night in a game that looked like it was going to go the Phillies way. They had a 4 nothing lead and Zach Wheeler was cruising last night. Of course, uh, he was tremendous. He's been fantastic for Philly all season long, but the Braves chipped away and they chipped away and they eventually would win it on Adam Duvall's walk-off single with two down and the bases loaded in the bottom of the ninth inning. Again, they have a chance for a sweep here tonight. For the Braves, it marked their 83rd win in their final at-bat since Brian Snitker took over as manager back on May 17th of 2016. Of course, that is the most such victories in Major League Baseball over that span. Third walk-off in their last five games here at home. Of course, they wrapped up the first home homestand with Nick Markakis with the walk-off home run. Dansby Swanson started the new homestand with a walk-off home run. And then, of course, last night with Adam Duvall with the walk-off base hit. Uh, the team's been playing really well here at home. They're 10-3 and at Truist Park through their first 13 home games of 2020. And it was their fourth win this season when trailing after the seventh inning. So as we talk so much about here on the fan, this team takes a lot of pride in being a really tough 27 outs, and they continue to prove that night in and night out here in the new year. Freddie Freeman was one for three last night with a couple of more walks. He did score a run. That was uh, his 819th run scored for his career. That breaks him uh, with the tie with Hank Aaron. So he is now alone in fourth place all time since the Braves moved here to Atlanta in runs scored behind only the Jones boys, Chipper and Andrew, and of course, Dale Murphy as well. Dansby Swanson, two for five last night. He now has a uh, eight game hitting streak. How about over that span, all in the leadoff spot. Dansby's 18 for 37 over that span, and he has scored a run in four consecutive games. That's exactly what you want from your leadoff man. Of course, the Braves are 4-0-1 in home series here in 2020, 10-3 overall. And going back to last season, they've won 11 of the 14 series they've played here at home tonight. And they're going to try to get greedy and go for a series sweep with Josh Tomlin on the mound here tonight. Tomlin, 1-0 with 235 ERA in his second start of the season. We saw him on Tuesday here at home against the Nationals. Took a no decision. He worked four innings, gave up two earned on six hits. And how about some really remarkable numbers for Josh Tomlin? Among starting pitchers with at least 900 innings pitched, his 1.3 walks per nine ranks as the best among all qualified starting pitchers over that span. He has allowed just 144 total walks in 993 and a third innings pitched. Masahiro Tanaka, if you were curious, is second on that walks per nine list. Again, that Tomlin is 1.3, Tanaka's 1.79. So really good uh, separation between Tomlin and the second spot in the all-time uh, walks per nine list in Masahiro Tanaka. You know exactly what you're going to get. Tomlin is going to be in the zone. He's going to be coming right after guys. And the same can be said about the guy that the Braves will be facing in here tonight. Zach Eflin, 26-year-old right-hander, is 0-1 with a 514 earned run average this season. He, however, has struck out, get this, 23 of 62 batters he's faced here this season. Uh, and right-handed hitters are 3 for 31 with one walk and 16 strikeouts against Eflin here this season. Tuesday night at Fenway Park, he went four innings, gave up four earned runs, uh, five hits, three walks, and eight strikeouts. And he has uh, thrown a first pitch strike to 68% of all batters he's faced here in the new year. So again, you know exactly what you're going to get. Braves offense, you're going to see a guy who's going to come right after you and throw strike one. It'll be Ben Ingram and Jim Powell with the call right here on the Braves radio network. That'll be coming your way at 7.08 p.m. Eastern and then stick around immediately following the final out for the Hyundai Post Game Show and Braves Wrap Up as we'll have you covered with all the very latest on your Atlanta Braves. Hey, good news, by the way. Speaking of uh, news coming out of uh, Braves uh, and Truist Park here today, Ronald Acuna Jr. took batting practice today. They're going to see how he feels tomorrow. 
and he's getting closer and closer to returning. Ozzy Albies will also ramp up his baseball activities tomorrow. So uh, a couple of big important pieces of this team getting closer and closer to a return. And again, it was really encouraging to know that uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. took BP earlier today. So again, that's the latest uh, on your Braves. Of course, we'll have you covered right here on your flagship home of the Braves, the Fan 680 and 93.7 FM. 680 game day starts at 520 p.m. Eastern. The Ford leadoff show is at 550 p.m. Eastern. And again, first pitch 708 right here from Truist Park in Atlanta.